We used to see him just win game after game after game, sometimes just make it look easy, move people, be more physical than people. This is two weeks in a row now. We've really seen them get their butts beat, San Francisco and now Dallas in the division. And then if you go back even before that, uh, Kansas yeah. City, Buffalo, they're squeaking by, they're you know, giving up 30 points, but winning. This is not the Philadelphia team that we're used to seeing. Coach, watching the Philadelphia's offense, it's one of two things. It's either the run game, the quick passing game, or it's Jalen Hurts dropping back, doing the Josh Allen thing, running around, holding the ball for six or seven seconds. And I just don't think you can consistently run like you win like that. You have to be able to run the football, then do your play action pass, your quick passing game, and everything opens up from there. The turnovers hurt, of course. The point that you made I thought was interesting as well, though, is replacing these two coordinators, right? When you have success a season ago, you lose your coordinators to head coaching jobs. Do you feel like that's been a challenge for him? Yeah, and offensively, uh, offensive coordinator, what does he necessarily want? He wants to come in and prove to everyone, hey, I'm an excellent offensive coordinator. Yeah. So how do you do that? You throw the football all over the place. But if it's me and I see the offensive line that I have, I see the running backs that I have, you go out and you get DeAndre Swift and you don't run the football, it just puts all all the pressure on your quarterback and it's, it's just really not fair to your team and that's the head coach's job to correct that and, and I'll say this now I played in Pittsburgh for a long time I coached in Pittsburgh our philosophy there was at the end of the year in December and January it's going to be cold weather games we got to be able to run the football right. and we got to be able to play great defense that's what Philadelphia did last year that's how they got to the Super Bowl they're not running it that well and they're not playing great defense right now and then when you you know when and then when like AJ's not getting the ball you know there is some arguments and some disagreements on the sideline you just can't have that they need to go back and revisit their entire situation if people will say well if Philly wins out they're still going to have this tiebreaker to get in over the Cowboys Boys, right? Do you think they're going to win out? Is this team going to win out playing like this? Philadelphia might win this division. They might might even get the number one seed because one they've got these, these losing teams that they're going to play down the stretch. But they're not playing great football. And to me, that's what you want to see. I want my team to be playing well. I, I don't care about the seeds and all that. They've got to get themselves back to playing Eagles football. You have to beat Dallas, and you have to be able to beat the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Those are the two and top teams. And they're not going to beat them with what we saw tonight. Absolutely not.